it just hit us so hard and you think, how do you counter such a terrible thing? You can only counter it by doing the exact opposite. I think we just rather focus on the positives. Rather focus on the good things people can do rather than the bad things people have done. And remembering my sister for what happened to her is not how we want to remember her. We want to remember her for all the good things she's done for others and all the incredible things she's done for, for the family and how we can bring that forward to other people. I think that's the most important thing. That's kind of how we're dealing with our, with our grief, how we're dealing with the, the loss of my sister. It's really about turning a negative story into something positive. It's just so warm. Always had a, a welcoming presence. And always willing to kind of step in and be the, the leader, you know, for, for, for anyone who might be in trouble, kind of standing up and taking a soft-spoken stand about how she's going to help out and participate and, and be involved. And when someone needed them to be there, needed them to be involved, she was always the first one to kind of be there and say, and, and, and rally other people to kind of get involved as well. She did it kind of on her own. She wasn't very... She wasn't loud about it. She was very, did it in very subtle ways. She had this incredible force to bring people together and rally people. She was always the, the peacekeeper. Whenever there was a disagreement, whenever somebody, whether myself, my older sister, my mom, my dad, whenever we were in disagreement or, or at, at, odd, at, at odds ends, she would always step in and just try and calm the waters and bring everyone together. It took a long time for the shock to wear off and kind of walk around numb. You walk around as if there's no purpose. You don't really understand. Nothing really excites you. Nothing really gives you enjoyment. And then you started coming to terms with that, with the fact that it actually happened. And you know, you're dipping in and out of sadness and Leading up to the one year mark, I know April was a really rough month for us. We were all kind of very much on pins and needles, but lately, I'd say in the last couple of weeks since we started selling tickets for our big fundraiser for our foundation, speaking to my mom, I can hear the happiness in her voice again. You know, this is the mom I remember of old. It's been a, been a while since I've heard that in her voice, so it's, it's been really nice to hear that again. But we knew we wanted to do something. We wanted to do something. We didn't really remember this horrific, horrific day and the horrific incident. We, we knew within a week or two that we were going to do something different. We we're going to turn the story around. I think the whole idea of a foundation really started picking up steam about 10 months ago. And uh, that's when we kind of decided you know, we want to put on a, a big event and want to have a foundation to go with it and raise money for a good cause. It's called the Turtle Project. My sister's nickname was Tartaruga, which means turtle in Italian. She was just a sl always very slow. <laughs> Fitting, I think the turtle also represents peace and wisdom and, and longevity, so it, kind of, it was kind of a perfect fit, so we're hosting it on her, on her birthday, December 3rd. And our foundation supporting the North York Women's Shelter. In the middle of a, a big rebuild, and we figured it's it was a perfect uh, perfect place to support. The whole the whole idea of the foundation was to embody Emory spirit and kind of you know support causes that have humanitarian efforts. And Northrop Women's Shelter is, provides safe harbor and refuge for these ladies who have survived and children who have survived violence. That why don't we support these women who have, who are in the shelter, support the shelter, and trying to bring some good to them. I just don't, I just don't find any I just don't find any benefit to being angry. I think it's terrible. It doesn't it doesn't reduce how I feel with my sister or what happened to the other victims or or the incident itself, but well, I think anger just leads to more hatred and more and more, more negative things. I mean the more negative you are, 
the more angry you have, the more negative you're gonna be. And I think the last thing we need is more negativity. I think the only way you can really move on is to forgive somebody. And if, if I need to, if I wanna move on and, and continue living, I have to find it within myself to say, okay, it happened, I forgive you, and I have to kind of move on. I think people get too stuck up in what the other person they can't forgive, and it just leads to, leads to this black hole that you can never get out of. I guess if there's a light at the end of the tunnel, it would be forgiveness, I guess.